Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something a little different today and I'm gonna show you guys how I give myself a manicure. I've actually had quite a few questions as to like, do I go get my nails done at the salon? Do I do them myself? What's the deal? I've been wearing a lot of nail polish lately so I figured I would just show you what I do. I really don't like getting my nails done at a salon. My personal opinion is I do it better, but it takes time to do it. So basically it probably takes about the same amount of time as it would like take me to get in the car, go to a nail salon, have them do it, pay them money and then go home. But you know, it's just like one of those things you're like, oh, I'm treating myself. But I feel like the manicure never lasts as long just because they don't use the things that I use that works with my body chemistry. So I'll go over all of the things that I'm using today and I will link them all down below. So first thing I have here is a little coaster of cork that I'm gonna put this on because um, this is my nail polish remover and this is a bottle of Zoya. And actually I bought this bottle several years ago and I just keep filling it up with the cheap stuff from Amazon or Target or wherever because I absolutely love this dispenser. You just kind of push down on it with your cotton round or your cotton pad and it comes right out. So I didn't want to get rid of the bottle, but I just keep filling it up and I filled it up today actually. Um, I also use this. This is the CND. It's a sticky base coat and this really works well with my uh, nails. Um, just to let you guys know, I have very oily skin, hair, and nails for the most part. So um, this works wonders with keeping my nail color on a lot longer. These are the Sally Hansen drying drops that I use at the very end of my manicure. I have this, it's called Out the Door, and it's a super fast drying top coat is what it says. And then today I'm gonna to be using this, I've never used it before. This is from OPI, and this is in the color called Funny Bunny. Um, it's like a really nice milky white, and the reason that I got it is because I follow Landon Hutchinson, which is living with Landon on Instagram, and she's wearing this all the time and it looks great on her, and I figured why not try it out, so. Got this guy, and then this is the Sally Hansen Problem Cuticle Remover. I am gonna use a little bit of this because my cuticles do kind of come up a little bit. Like I said, I have kind of oily um, skin. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I do get like that sticky cuticle stuff on there. Also, I use this. This one's really janky right now, but it's just like a four-sided file. And um, this one's from Sephora, but any four-sided file will do. Um, really, I just need the file and the buff, and then I'm done using it. I have a little cotton round that I will end up using on my uh, nails in a little while. I have a little glass file if I need it. This one's from Sephora, but any glass file will do. I've got a little nail clipper if I need it. I've got my little orange stick. And then this is my like little cuticle pusher thing. This bin is from the Dollar Tree, so I just have it here. But I'm gonna put everything back in here so I, I know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. All right, let's get organized. All right, so first thing that I do is, well, I clearly have all these lined up, but we're not gonna play with those for a little bit here. Um, but first thing I'm gonna do is do my cuticle situation. So I just put a little bit on and then I'll rub it in, let it sit for a minute, and then I'll just push my cuticles back if I have any cuticle to, you know, deal with. And then I just kind of pat it on. I mean, clearly I'm not like a beauty person or a makeup person or a nail tech, but this is just kind of like, over the years, what's worked for me. Tried a lot of different things. I got like really into like beauty and makeup and experimenting with things. Oh gosh, maybe like six, seven years ago now. So now I kind of figured out like what works for me and my skin and I just don't really divert from that. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit. And it's a little overcast right now, so I apologize if um, things are looking a little darker. I'm hoping I can um, fix that up when I edit the video. This is one of those little pushers. It's got a little bit of a more like flexible uh, tip, which is what I like if I'm doing this. This orange stick I use for cleanup if I end up like flooding my nails for some reason. I don't do it too often, but sometimes I do. And um, I like this to kind of push things back. So let's try to push some things back here. I 
if you guys can see. Let's zoom you in a little bit more here. Whoa, look at all that zoom. Like even right here, like this nail right here. Oh gosh, let's zoom some more. Let's see if we can do this. Ha ha, here we go. This nail right here, like this little white thing, that's cuticle. So I need to like try and kind of scrape that sucker off a little bit more because ideally I want to put polish right there and if I don't deal with it, then it's gonna, the manicure is gonna lift up and then that's gonna be annoying. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this remover on this nail and let it sit for just a little bit longer. I got most of it off, Ooh, whoa, all right. I've gotten most of it off, but I need to just kind of let that sit for just a little bit. Other nails look pretty good, and then I'm gonna do this hand here. All right, the right hand is done. Sorry, I'm really zoomed in right now, but we are gonna go back to this kind of problem nail I'm having at the moment and see if we can kind of push this back a little bit more. All right, that one is looking pretty good now. Great, okay. So now the big thing I do is, well, first of all, let's zoom you guys back out because it's like a little aggressive. <laughs> all right, so now the next thing I do is I go and wash my hands and then I'm going to uh, buff my nails. So I'll be right back. All right, so the fingers are washed and everything's looking pretty all right. So today I'm actually gonna take the file and the buff and go like this to my nail. I know some people say don't do that, but I am going to do that because that works for my body and my body chemistry to keep my nail polish on a little bit longer than normal. And then um, normally I would take the file and go like this, but you know, we're not gonna do that today. So we're gonna just scratch up the nail just a little bit. Kinda helps everything adhere for me. And I do it very, very lightly. I don't use hardly any pressure, just a little bit of light pressure um, so I don't get too too aggressive with it. I know I've been to, whoops, I have been to um, several nail salons in my life and it's like an insane amount of pressure on the nail and they use those like, I don't know, like little torture devices. <laughs> it feels like, you know, we're basically like it's a, like a little drill thing and I'm like what the heck and it's like I have natural nails it's kind of scary it's like one false swoop and my whole fingers coming off it feels like <sighs> I'm sure I'm sure that wouldn't happen but you just you never know you never know okay so now that my nails are all so it's a dusty I'm gonna put that back now I'm gonna go wash my hands for the last time and then we get to start on the actual nails Okay, so now my hands are dry. However, I am going to take my nail polish remover real quick and I am going to put a little bit of nail polish remover on all of my nails. The reason why is because any transfer, like I'm touching my nail right now, I'm transferring oil to my nail and that's no bueno when you're trying to get stuff to stick to your nail. At least that's what I found in my experience. So I take just a little bit of nail polish remover and I just kind of swipe every nail and even if you don't touch your nails like there can still be oils and things like that in the soap that you use so i don't know i just like to do that plus if for some reason i missed a little bit of the dust from when i filed or something like that i don't know it just it makes me feel better so yeah we're good to go there and then now it's time for all the things so let me show you what I'm working with over here. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing over here. I'm gonna keep this all in this little basket, but what I like to do before I actually start the process is open up everything. <laughs> so everything is open, so I don't have to worry about opening it up with wet nails. I'm just kind of having everything open and ready to go when I am ready for it. All right, so first up is my CND sticky base coat. All right, so the left hand is done, so let's move over to the right hand.
Doyle, relax, buddy. So the base coat is done and now we're on to the color so I have never worked with this color before it does look pretty opaque for a white so I'm hoping that um, we can get some good coverage in two coats but we'll see well, it's kind of milky But the first coat is always the worst coat, especially when you're working with light colors. All right, so let's get this all on and let's talk when we do the second coat again. All right, all my nails have one coat, so let's try the second coat and see. And I gotta say, I remember there was a reason I didn't like OPI polishes and I'm being reminded of it right now. The brush is so wide and I don't like a wide brush. I'd rather do several little strokes than a couple big strokes and then I feel like it just fans out a little bit too much. Okay, I think, and then I'm capping my nails too. Um, I think that actually looks all right. There, I don't know. Let's wait for it to dry down just a little bit and then we'll, we'll see if we need a third coat. But there's just so much polish that gets on the brush that you have to kind of, I don't know, just work with it a little bit more than what I'm used to doing. So it's another, Another pro tip is cap your nails. I cap it with the color, and then I also cap it with the top coat. The base coat, to me, doesn't make a difference in the wear of my nails, but the color does. So if I go like that, it kind of helps with like any of the like little chipping and things like that. So I don't know, I mean, this looks like kind of all right, but let me do the other hand and then we'll decide, because it does look kind of streaky in some areas. And if I'm gonna have this manicure on for a while, I want it to, you know, like look the way that I want it to look. And my right hand is my dominant hand. So this is always like a fun little game trying to, <laughs> trying to do this properly. And we cap it. So if I do get flooding on my nails, it's usually on my right hand because I am not left-handed because I have to paint my nails with my left hand. And I can remember very vividly watching my mom do her nails on the kitchen table when I was a little kid and my mom's right-handed as well and I would always be so curious as to like how do you paint your right hand and she just told me practice so I practiced and that's how you know I can do this now but I do take a whole lot longer to paint my right hand than I do my left but I think most people do unless you're like What's that word? Ambidextrous, I think is the word, where you use both 
your right and your left so you don't really have a dominant. But I do have this like really random theory that I was supposed to be left-handed because I do a lot of things better the left way than the right way. Um, but my dad was left-handed. So he always felt like he was on the struggle bus his whole life because he couldn't like, you know, when he was growing up, he couldn't like, you know, use scissors properly and like all these other things. So he was very diligent with me and my brother when we were growing up. If we grabbed for like a toy with our left hand, he'd automatically place it in our right hand. So he like kind of made us right hand dominant, which is kind of funny. So anyway, sorry, my little random story time. So this is how it's looking after two coats. I think I'm going to do a third. They're just like a little streaky, so I wanna make it opaque. I do like this color. Um, I think it's a really nice color, but I like, if I'm gonna go with like a creme polish, which this is like clearly a creme polish, I would much rather it be opaque. But some people really like that kinda thinned out vibe, but I'm just not one of those people but that's all right. So yeah, one more polish for all. See, yeah, look at the two nails next to each other. I really like the more white out version than the like kind of other version over there. Yep. This is a three coater, which is not my favorite. I usually like a two coat situation. Even a one coat's even better, but you know, it's very, very hard to do a one coat on anything nowadays. I but I'm loving the way the three coats look though. And I'm already knee deep in the manicure that I ain't taking it off now. So let's just, let's just do another coat y'all. And I've been doing a lot of hand videos lately. If you guys have seen any of my other content. So I get lots of questions on my nail polish color and all of that. So I try to be diligent and post the nail color in the uh, description box or like a link to it so people can find it. Oh no. I just messed up my little nail. Sometimes if I can get to it fast enough, we can fix it. Yes, okay, we are able to fix it, yay. I just nicked the very edge of my uh, pinky nail on my little basket of things in front of me that you guys can't really see at the moment because it's off camera, but I like kind of <laughs> hit it just like that. All right, so nail color is done, and now we're gonna move on to the top coat. Oh, and I've got some um, little things in here. Oh, it's kind of dry now, but sometimes when you cap them, you've got like a little bit of nail color right there. That's all right, it'll, it'll wear down la later on tonight. All right, and the top coat that I use is I-N-M, which is the brand name it looks like, and it says out the door. Clearly, I am going to be putting this in the description box below. There will be a link for y'all. And then I just like to start in the center of the nail and then just move outwards. Sometimes you gotta dip back into the bottle, but not always. This stuff goes on really nicely and smooth. And go all the way to the edge of the nail, and then just kind of cap it. And I actually prefer to get the underside of my, not the underside of my nail, but like my skin, so I know I've gotten everything, because this is like the last step. And again, that will wear off later on today. Or if I want to get real diligent, say you're going to an event or something like that, you can always just take like a little um, cotton swab and put a little nail polish remover on it and then just kind of tap your skin there and it'll get it right off. And I feel like another trick to the top coat too is, you know, you kind of start in the middle of the nail, but then you go like over just a scotch of where the nail color actually is. And um, I don't know, I just feel like it helps kind of like seal it in a little bit better. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the out the door. And then lastly, I take my Sally Hansen drying drops, which I'm gonna scooch you out for because this is just very, very simple and easy. You take like a little vial and then I just kind of put it on there and then it just kind of drips down. So this, for me, I feel like this helps um, 
the dry time a little bit more. And that's it. That's all I do. But anyway, now my battery light is flashing. So all in all, real time, this only took me about 40 minutes with explaining everything and trying to get everything in frame. So this probably would have only taken me like 20, 25 minutes normally, but um, I'm hoping it's not gonna be 40 minutes for you guys. Let's hope that Emily, the editor, can trim this sucker down for y'all. But if you guys are interested in any of the things I talked about, I will leave those links down below. And if you have any questions for me pertaining to this or anything else in life, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to as many of you as I can. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you want to be part of the FTE family and I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye guys! Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to